Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of biofuels with a focus on biodiesel and bioethanol. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. Biofuels are liquid or gaseous transport fuels, such as biodiesel and bioethanol, made from biomass. They serve as a renewable alternative to fossil fuels and play a role in helping to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve the energy security of supply. Biofuels are alternative fuels made from plant and plant-derived resources. First-generation biofuels are made from sugar crops, sugarcane, sugar beet, starch crops, corn, sorghum, oilseed crops, soybean, canola, and animal fats. Sugar and starch crops are converted through a fermentation process to form bioalcohols, including ethanol, butanol, and propanol. Oils and animal fats can be processed into biodiesel. Ethanol is the most widely used bioalcohol fuel. Most vehicles can use gasoline ethanol blends containing up to 10% ethanol by volume. Second generation biofuels, or cellulosic biofuels, are made from cellulose, which is available from non food crops and waste biomass such as corn stover, corn cobs, straw, wood, and wood byproducts. Third generation biofuels use algae as a feedstock. Commercial cellulosic biofuel production began in the U.S. in 2013, while algae biofuels are not yet produced commercially. Given that biofuels are used mainly for transportation, there exist broadly two types of biofuels, which are bioethanol and biodiesel, which are derived from energy crops. For instance, Brazil uses sugar cane to derive bioethanol whilst China uses sweet sorghum, whereas Germany and France uses sugar beet. Thus, we can see that different countries obtain bioethanol from a wide range of suitable crops. Similarly, different crops are used for biodiesel. For instance, Germany, China and France uses rapeseed or sunflower seed for biodiesel whereas United States derives biodiesel from soybean. Biodiesel is a liquid fuel produced from renewable sources such as new and used vegetable oils and animal fats, and is a cleaner burning replacement for petroleum-based diesel fuel. Biodiesel is non-toxic and biodegradable and is produced by combining alcohol with vegetable oil, animal fat, or recycled cooking grease. Bioethanol, the principal liquid fuel used as substitute for petrol for road transport vehicles, is mainly produced by the sugar fermentation process of cellulose starch, which is mostly derived from sugar beet, sweet sorghum, maize, sugar cane, wheat straw, wood chips, and more recently microalgae as third-generation biofuel. The production process termed as ABE ferment ion produces this key renewable biofuel that providing the potential to reduce automobile emissions when deployed directly used in vehicles and behaves in a similar fashion to conventional fuels. Furthermore, bioethanol has a high octane rating that enables high engine compression ratios which increases engine efficiency and performance. Compared to conventional gasoline however, the fuel has a low volumetric energy density which directly translates to vehicles requiring more bioethanol per kilometer by as much as 50% when compared to gasoline. Taken together, Bioethanol is considered one of the most promising substitute for fossil fuels, however its competitiveness as a bulk commodity highly depends on the process technology. Biodiesel is mainly produced by the transesterification reaction between oil and the alcohol in the presence of catalyst. Use of non-edible oils for biodiesel production is increased nowadays as compared to edible oils since it is not used for food applications. Biodiesel production is highly influenced by process variables like solvent concentration, oil concentration, type and concentration of catalyst employed and temperature. Biodiesel is emerging 
as one of the most attractive forms of biofuel. In addition to its role in reducing greenhouse gases and enhancing sustainability, biodiesel can also have a favorable impact on the properties of petrodiesel upon blending. Moreover, in blending diesel and biodiesel fractions, there is a need in estimating the resulting properties, and hence the quality, of diesel or biodiesel mixtures. Biodiesel is often considered to improve energy, security and reduce the impact of fuel on climate change. However, there are concerns about the impact of biodiesel when its life cycle is considered. Therefore, biodiesel production should be carefully managed to mitigate its impact on the environment. In terms of the potential economic benefits of biofuel production, it is observed that replacing fossil fuels with first-generation biofuels has the potential to generate a number of benefits compared to fossil fuels, which are exhaustible resources. Given that biofuels are produced from renewable feedstocks, it is envisaged that their production and use could, in theory, be sustained indefinitely. As technology advances with second and third generation biofuels have significant potential to reduce greenhouse gas emissions relative to conventional fuels because feedstocks can be produced using marginal land. With regards to climate change, biofuels may reduce some pollutant emissions. Ethanol, in particular, can ensure complete combustion, reducing carbon monoxide emissions. Biofuel production and use must coincide with reductions in the production and use of fossil fuels for these benefits to accrue. With regards to possible economic disbenefits that could arise from biofuel production, there are several concerns. First, since a variety of crops otherwise edible or suitable for animal feed could be diverted towards biofuel feedstock usage, this does not help address food security and production capacity for ever-growing population. The diversion of crops to biofuels may lead to more land area devoted to agriculture, increased use of polluting inputs, and higher food prices as a result of changes in land use patterns. Higher crop prices lead to higher food price and may correlate with higher rates of malnutrition in developing countries where biofuels are being championed as alternatives to fossil fuels. Cellulosic feedstocks can also compete for resources, land, water, fertilizer, that could otherwise be devoted to food production. As a result, some research suggests that biofuel production may give rise to several undesirable developments including the release of greenhouse gases, where for instance fertilizer application could release nitrous oxide as key environmental impacts. For non-environmental impacts, research has suggested that the production of biofuel feedstocks, particularly food crops like corn and soy, could increase water pollution from nutrients, pesticides, and sediment. Moreover, increases in irrigation and ethanol refining could deplete aquifers. With the growing pressure to lower carbon emissions, the application of biofuels is a plausible solution to the replacement of oil in the near future. This change in energy source will bring a competitive advantage to the use of alternative fuels. In the near future, if we are able to meet the land requirements to increase the resources available to make biofuels economically profitable, then it might be able to replace the fossil fuel we use today.